So this is the first time you're really in here to stay. What was it like walking into the office this morning? It's kind of empty right now. It's kind of empty right now, but it's already busy. Um, it was great to walk in. To walk in, though, and see that, you know, you are the mayor of Seattle give, makes you pause and think, this is, this is a big responsibility. It is a great honor, but it's a huge responsibility. Obviously, you took the oath yesterday. You got out into the neighborhoods, and you uh, made some executive orders. Why did you make your first executive order relating to housing? I'm assuming you did it for a reason to make a point. What point was that? I think everybody knows that the affordability issue is the issue that I've got to focus on right away. And I wanted that to be the first thing I did so people know, I know how serious it is. This city has changed so quickly and so many people are locked out. I want to start taking actions immediately to try to change that dynamic. It's going to take time. There are no quick and easy solutions to the, to the problems we're facing. But I think we're up to the challenge. I think Seattle can really rise to the occasion. You talked about walking in and realizing, oh, this is for real. Uh, I'm the mayor of Seattle. And as you alluded to there, it is a city in crisis. I don't know if you disagree with that, but on so many levels, I see a crisis every day with housing, with homelessness. Do you feel like that is a crisis and those are crises that you are truly prepared to deal with in a meaningful way? I think it is. We are a city that has crisis and urgent situations, you know, homelessness and affordability, transportation. Our growth outstripped our readiness. You know, we just weren't ready and so much has happened so quickly. Um, no mayor can do it by herself. It's going to take all of Seattle really pulling together and getting to these common solutions and we've got to do it part by part. And I think that I am ready to get to work, to roll up my sleeves, to work with every part of the city to address these issues. Because I learned in the campaign what I thought was true, but then relearned it. This is a city where people care. People are engaged. Everyone I talk to wants to make their own neighborhood, their own community, the whole city better. And with that spirit, we can do it together. I really believe we can. One of the things that we sometimes joke about is that politics in Seattle can be boring because people are just varying shades of blue. I mean, they're varying shades of the same sort of politics. And honestly, the same is true for you. I mean, if we look at Ed not Murray, boring. not boring, yeah. but uh, you know, when you sit in the city for long enough and you see people come into this office, as I have, um, a lot of them have similar approaches to things. But the reality is those similar approaches have got us to a place where we are struggling in a way as a city. So for you, being someone whose politics is not far off from Ed Murray's, for instance, from Mike McGinn's, for instance, is there anything you can truly say that you're going to do that is dramatically, drastically different as a way to approach these problems in a way that hasn't been done before? Yeah, I think people who've worked with me before and have seen me in positions is, I'm a little bit different kind of leader. And people will see I'm very engaged. I ask questions. You know, in my last job that I had, the two things I would hear most often at the beginning was either, we never do it that way, or we always do it this way. We gotta change it. We gotta change it up. We have to be willing to get out of City Hall, which is why yesterday I felt it was so important to be in different parts of the city, to show I really mean it. I'm gonna continue to be out there listening to people, talking with people, hearing how their lives are impacted by what we do, and then coming back and figuring out how do we make that better? How do we make it different? And we've gotta reconnect the city government with its people. We've lost that connection over the last couple of administrations. And that's part of, I think, what's always made Seattle this special place, um, is that we are very um, connected. And we've got a lot of opinions in the city. There's a lot of disagreement on issues, but that's okay. Can you make a promise to be accessible? I am gonna be accessible. Sometimes I think people will get sick of me. Oh, you think so? Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to hold you to that promise. I know that you and I will have many opportunities to sit down over the next four years, um, I hope. Uh, but circling back to how we started this, you walking into this office this morning, this empty office, I was walking up and I saw your face on the front page of all the newspapers and um, feeling the gravity of that responsibility. Is there any part of you that is worried um, about failing the city, about letting the city down on some of these really important issues that are, I mean, life or death to some people, the issues that we're facing. You know, I think I, every day walking through that door and then I, I will be thinking 24 seven about what can you do more, I already feel that. Every place I go out, I walk, I look at things differently now that I'm mayor. Um, I know that this is a job that isn't just one person. I've said it and I mean it. 
we've got to all do this. We, this is not something a mayor fixes or even a city council fixes. This is something that everyone in the city has a responsibility to step up and say, what kind of city are we going to be and how do we contribute? And I heard it. I heard it in every neighborhood throughout the campaign. People are ready. People want to help. They want to make things better. They just want to know that we're moving in the right direction and have confidence that their government listens to them, represents them, and is willing to learn lessons. And I will as mayor. I will listen. I will be out there. I'll be talking to people. Um, and we're going to have lots of times to talk.